Hello everyone, we are back with more Titans content at long last. It's been what feels like forever. Um, but we got some Season 4 kind of stuff dropping today. Um, and yeah, they had a whole kind of panel at um, New York Comic Con, I believe. Um, released a bunch of like teases and stuff there. Um, what I've got is a teaser and then two clips that they released, I think. I think that's everything that's dropping. That's all I'm going to be reacting to in this video anyway, because that's all I currently have. And it's still it's quite late in the UK here anyway, because I've been staying up late waiting for all this to drop. Um, but yeah, we've got that. Confirmation that it's November 3rd, I think, is when it's dropping, or part one of the season is dropping. Does that mean, you know, episode one's dropping and then it airs weekly for part one? Are they dropping a couple like they did last season? You know, they dropped the first three for season three. Um, do they drop the entire of part one on November 3rd? I don't know. If they've clarified it, do let me know. Um, but we are getting part one this year and then season four, part two next year, which is very exciting. I, I quite like that they're making an event of it like that. Um, what else have we got um, that they've announced? Oh, obviously, I mean, the thing I was waiting for, for what feels like 20 years, was um, Gar's suit. We finally got a suit for Beast Boy. It looks fucking awesome. Um, he looks great. Um, so I can't wait to see that properly put into action in season four. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that it was going to look great because I, I generally think Titans is basically the best in the business when it comes to costumes um, on like comic book, TV show, media at the very least. Um, you know, I, I think they failed to make a costume that I, I haven't liked. So um, yeah, I, I had no doubt in my mind it was going to look great. And it really does. It's so cool. I'll try and put a picture in here if I remember to um, in case you haven't seen it, but so cool. And based on what Ryan Potter has been saying, you know, Gar's going to have a, a lot to do this season be quite active, which I've been wishing for for three seasons now. Because um, if you don't know, if this is your first video, I have reacted to Titan since the start. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm in it for the long haul now. Might as well keep going um, because I, I really enjoyed um, the show, which seems to be an unpopular opinion that I've always enjoyed the show. Um, and yeah, I, I think we have a lot going for us with this season. Um, you know, we've got Brother Blood, Mother Mayhem, Jinx coming. We've got, I think Lex Luthor's in this season as well. I'm pretty sure I read a casting for that. Um, and then, I mean, a few other, I think, returning characters that are basically all but confirmed, um, but I don't know if we have official confirmation yet. So I won't talk about anything that hasn't been officially confirmed um, in case people, you know, want to be surprised by that. So um, yeah, I am very, very excited to get our first proper glimpse of season four i was expecting a trailer to come out so the fact that we've got a teaser and then two clips you know it's technically more content really in terms of runtime so it'll be cool to get maybe a feel of the season i'm guessing the clips will be from the first episode i, I can't imagine being like here's a clip from episode six that would make no sense so um yeah we're going to get an idea of like is it going to be the road trippy kind of feel that we kind of expect in season four to be given how season three ended um you know what are they going to showcase and show off in what we're about to see. Who can say? But either way, I am very excited. We're going to start with the teaser because that's just the quick, shortest one. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Oh boy. Well, we've got blood. That's a good start. Creepy symbols. Oh, nice. Terminator 2. Oh, that's some creepy chanting. Okay, well, that really was a, a teaser, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to go back over that and have a look at that again. Um, so yeah, this I think it's probably safe to say this is tying into Brother Blood, etc., isn't it? Um, which is all very exciting. Um, and some kind of chants in the background. I I'm not too familiar with like Brother Blood and Mother Mayhem and Jinx as characters and stuff so uh, you know I'm kind of going in quite blind in regards to exactly what they're like as characters um I mean I've seen Arrow and Brother Blood within season two of that but I from what I gather not particularly close to the comic book counterpart compared to what Titans is probably going to do um because we have like a full costume for Brother Blood and everything which looked awesome um so yeah I am excited to see what they do with him here and Potential links to Trigon, I feel like I've been hearing about, so it'd be funny if Trigon pops up again this season, if they can tie into that. I don't really know, but I am very excited to um, 
okay, a glimpse of Brother Blood and everything going on with that. Okay, so that was very brief, but the cinematography and everything looked really cool there. And I like that there's no blue filter in that, but it is the teaser, so I'm sure it will probably play these clips now, won't it? But never mind. Um, yeah, that shot of like his hand coming out of the blood. I'm, I'm guessing that is Brother Blood there, maybe being made slash formed or however it works. So that would be exciting. Right, next, I can, yeah, I don't want to start the clip straight away. Okay, so next we have our first teaser clip, which is called, if I can get the title up, Lex Luthor wants to meet Superboy. Well, okay. <laughs> hmm, who could be in this one? Let's find out. Um, so this is like close to two minutes, so this is exciting. We get a whole last clip. Um, so let's have a look at this. Oh, crypto, best boy. Take a picture of me with both sides. Sure. Oh. Tim's so precious. <clears throat> What's this for? A profile? Uh, nah, I just oh. want to send it to that guy. That guy? Who? Oh, he's wearing a suit underneath that. Oh. Star Labs, dude. Okay. Oh, they're together, aren't they? Oh, shit. Okay. I this for me. I would like to say thank you. Died, but I just charged it. Oh. There we go. The shenanigans start now. Oh. Hello, Father. Oh. Oh yeah, I've seen that entrance stuff before. Oh, he'll be good. Corey looking great as always as well. We have to go back to Metropolis. Back. Okay, so they've already been. I guess that's a stop on their road trip. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um I don't know how big of a role Lex Luthor is playing in things this season, um, but I, I did in the back of my mind remember like a casting and stuff like that. So, you know, that's cool that they are exploring that. Whether or not we're ever going to get Superman in person in the show, I don't know. But Lex Luthor's a, a start, you know, considering Connor's been around since season two. It's cool that they're probably delving into this. I know we've had like, we had Mercy Graves, didn't we, in season two and stuff. So it does feel like the natural step up for Lex himself to appear. And if they're in, like, Metropolis for a road trip or whatever like that, you know, it, it is a more organic way, I guess, of bringing him into the story if they are that close. And clearly he has his means of contacting Connor in the most dramatic way possible, which feels quite right for Lex, really, doesn't it? Um, dramatic son of a bitch. But, yeah, I, I can't remember what I've seen the actor in, but I know I've seen him in something, and I know he's good. Um, and, that, I mean, that voice and everything, you know, he has the presence of Lex, so that's going to be really intriguing to see how that plays out and how big of a role... Lex does play in things because obviously we have the brother blood situation and everything as well. Are we just having a whole shit ton of villains or is it going to be like a one episode deal? We'll have to wait and see. But um, yeah, that, that feels like a big setup maybe for maybe the first episode or whatever. Um, certainly early in the season. So it makes sense that they'd release something like that just to be like, okay, so this is what you can expect story wise, at least for an early part of the season. So I like how they're tying that in together and just seeing everyone um kind of chilling family vibes love it um i mean we have crypto which is always a big win for me um and yeah dick and corey sat together driving the bus having their little chats um looking forward to them rising once again this season it's about time um and tim continues to be a precious cinnamon roll must protect him uh like they want the photo of him with the staff and stuff uh, I'm, I'm i loved tim last season I mean, he's one of my favourite things about season three. Um, so to see his growth and him potentially get a suit of his own this season, um, that would be really cool. Um, he's definitely one to watch for me because I, I, I'm just loving Jay in that role. Um, he's great. So I'm excited for that very much. 
And then we have what seems to be um, Gar and Rachel are together. Mm. Looking forward to staying out of that discourse on Twitter. Um, <laughs> it's I'm I'm in two minds because I love Beast Boy and Raven as a couple. Always have, always will. Am I going to love the Titans version of it? We're going to have to wait and see. I think it would be naive of people to say they haven't clearly been building to this since the start. So I'm not surprised that it's happened. If the season starts and they're already together and this has happened in between seasons, I will have a bit like, hmm, hmm. I, I, I do think that would be a bit lazy. They definitely need to earn, I think, that actually happening. Um, and I know, you know, behind the scenes and stuff and all the Twitter discourse people, you know, are going to be very split on that, I imagine. Personally, I'm okay with it. I understand if people aren't. I'm not going to come for people who aren't happy about that development. Um, it's certainly going to be how they handle it. And, you know, they're going to have to prove the worth of it happening, I guess, to the most of people who may be doubtful. Um, but based on, like, commenters and people that I talk to in real life who watch the show, um, you know, a lot of people I know watch it, um, you know, who aren't on, you know, chronically online, I guess, and part of the Twitter discussions and, you know, all about the Titans communities online and stuff. They stay out of that. They kind of just, you know, they just watch it just generally. Um, I do think outside of like the Twitter sphere, I think it is, there's a lot more people kind of who are actively rooting for Gar and Rachel to get together. Um, and so I, I do think it is probably more so, you know, the diehard Titans Twitter stands who I definitely need to, they need to be proven, I guess, that, you know, win them over. They have some work to do, I think, with that. Um, I certainly don't think just starting the season with them getting together in between seasons would be the way to do it. So hopefully that's not the case and there's kind of a, a build up to that. Considering this is clearly early in the season and they're a thing, I would assume, or maybe they're just really close friends and he puts his arm around her all the time. Um, yeah, that... Mm. Hmm. I'm going to stay out of that discussion on Twitter because, you know, I do follow a lot of people who um, love Titans as much as I do and um, their opinions are just as valid as mine. So, you know, if they're going to not be happy about this, I think it's fair because, you know, they have their reasons. Um, and hopefully they will still give it a chance and um, in return, the show needs to prove to them like it's this is going to be OK. It, it's going to be a worthwhile thing. Um, you know, for me, I, I love that pairing in the, the comics and stuff that I've read, um, you know, in the Teen Titans cartoons and stuff I grew up with, all of that. Um, so I very much have that bias already. If you're just coming to Titans fresh, you're probably not going to have that bias. So you're not going to be as into the idea, perhaps. Um, but if it's a way of giving Gar more screen time, I'm definitely foreseeing what they do with it. Um... And I, I, I do think people who were saying, like, this is going to come completely out of the blue and they haven't been setting this up since the very beginning, I do think that's just, you know, choosing to be blind to it rather than it's out of nowhere. So, yeah, that's probably going to be a messy discussion. But for me, I'm happy to see where it goes. But again, admittedly, that's my bias. But, um, you know, as long as everyone behind the scenes was comfortable with doing this and they approach it in a delicate manner and they handled it right and you know Ryan and Tegan are okay with how it's being done and what they're doing with their characters fine by me I am on board so we'll see what happens with that but personally I'm quite excited to see what that might mean for them and the dynamics within the team um it seems like we're going to get some big couples getting together this season so um that's just one of them very exciting. That was a very nice little clip. I feel like I talked about that for 25 years. Sorry about that. Okay, we have another one now. Mother Mayhem fights the Titans. So let's open that one up. Suit up. Okay. He said suit up. There we go. Boom. Suit up. Oh, she has her concerns about suiting up. Oh, they're all walking out of their little van in their little costumes. Amazing. Okay. Oh, guys, got a suit on. Corey's got his suit on. <laughs> oh, Tim, bless you. You're going to die. <laughs> Everyone's got these cool suits. And then Tim's like, I'm here too. Yeah. 
Oh, shit. No idea. Uh -oh. I think they're going to be out of their depth a bit here, aren't they? I love how they've made Rachel's powers look. They're so good. Yeah, go on. Fuck her up. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Stay safe, Tim, please. Oh, wow. That feels like cheating. Yes. Come on. Never mind. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go on, Corey. I do wish her powers were pink. At least orange, but I don't mind the blue. Okay, well, Corey is the strongest of the Titans confirmed. Are we surprised? No. Um, so yeah, that feels very much... Actually, I can move this back now because we've watched everything. Um, that feels to me... Come on, Liam. Be professional here. There we are. Um, that feels like when you beat a Dark Souls boss um, and you get all cocky and then you immediately get fucked up by the next thing you face. You're like, oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm not good at this after all. Um, that feels like that's the kind of situation. You know, they've dealt with Scarecrow, they saved Gotham, all of that's handled. And now they're like, yeah, we can take this person and you're completely out of your depth because it's something that you haven't kind of trained with or experienced before. You know, that seems to be quite the move set and power set that she has. So, um, yeah, and that's just one of the rhythms that they're going to be facing. But it seems like we're going to be getting like Mother Mayhem first, maybe even Jinx as well, I don't know. And maybe they're going to be building up to Sebastian's transformation into Brother Blood. You know, I could see that being like a mid-season thing. Maybe he becomes Brother Blood and maybe that's why they're splitting into two parts to make that feel a bit more momentous, his journey. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, that was really cool. I, um, you know, I, I think it's a solid fight action scene. I like that we had kind of more of a dialogue heavy clip that they released. And then we had a very action heavy clip in this one, just getting a sense of the team being a team, which I'm all for. Hopefully they just properly lean into that now. Um, no more people splitting up and going off and doing different things. Um, but, I mean, they'll probably find a way, won't they? Either way, um, that's really interesting. And I'm excited to see, you know, exactly how they're going to tackle this new threat and um, what it means for them all, really, um, having these new foes to take down. It's going to be very cool, very exciting. Um, and yeah, that looked great. I, <laughs> poor Tim, he's, um, he's just there and it's like, it's a very cool jacket. Don't get me wrong, Tim, it's a very nice jacket, but just immediately obliterated. I think if he tried running in with his little staff, um, so, you know, uh, it's all going to be part of his training process. He learned by doing, so they had to get him involved, I guess, but it, it's just so funny seeing that they had like this Titan's tower and they had these layers and stuff. And then now it's just them all walking out of this big <laughs> coach. Like, yeah, let's fuck them up. Um, I love that. I, I, I think there's, you know, it's a very different vibe going for them as a team in a very different dynamic, which, you know, is good because I think they're firmly established now and they need to just roll with it. Um, so, yeah, I'm really impressed with everything that I've seen thus far. I think, you know, we're in for a fantastic season. Um, I mean, I've enjoyed every season, shocking as it may be. Um, but I think there's just so, so much to look forward to with this one. And the fact that they're splitting into two parts, you know, it really feels like a momentous event, which I think is a, a good way of going about it. Um, so, yeah, I think it all looks good. I'm very excited to see, you know, what people online in the comments kind of uh, loved about doing this. Um, I've just realised I haven't saved that video footage. I hope it hasn't <laughs> corrupted. Whoopsie. Um... And yeah, I, I, I think we're in for a really interesting ride when season four drops. And very bloody soon as well, November 3rd. So less than a month. That's like three weeks away, which, you know, I'm very excited for. I don't know if we're going to get like a full-blown proper trailer closer to the time, or if they did have one and that's like an, a convention exclusive thing and they just released these for 
us people who can't afford tickets. Um, as much as I'd love to go to New York Comic Con one day. Who knows? But, um, yeah, I'm really excited for this season. I was already excited, I won't lie. But, you know, actually getting tangible content and teasers and, you know, it's really being treated as something, you know, really cool and special. The fact that, you know, we have a, a teaser and we have, like, suit reveals and we have two clips from it, for me, that indicates some confidence in it. You know, that they they have plenty to show us off. They're not afraid of like, you want a clip? You want another one? There you go. That feels like they do have some confidence in it, which um, makes me feel very good and um, very safe in the knowledge that I think season four is going to be really good and a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be everything for now. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of all like the Titans reveals um, and all that jazz, what your two cents are about some of the things that might prove a bit more controversial or let's just have a nice time and talk about the things we liked um that that's always fun but yeah i am going to be reacting to season four obviously when it drops as long as i can get hold of the episodes to react to i will be reacting to them um sometimes i, I struggle getting hold of titans episodes um as they're airing in real time so um hopefully that won't be a problem with this season i we'll don't see um but either way i'm excited for um, November when it comes out. Big month. That's going to be Titans and then Black Panther Wakanda Forever like the very next week. I'm going to be well fed and I'm here for it. So very exciting. I think, you know, we're certainly starting off strong in terms of like, here's what season four is going to be. Hopefully they just run with that. And, you know, when we actually get these episodes, it's going to be a really great season. I have very high hopes. Um, so yeah, that's going to be everything. And until my next video, Thanks for watching.